Let's show you. We're uh, heading into totality now. This, I believe, is coming in from Mazatlan, Mexico. Indeed, it is. This is the first spot in uh, North America now. Uh, get it? You can just see that outer corona there, but that is totality in Mazatlan. We understand that people had gathered on beaches uh, in anticipation of this moment. There will be no sunbathing, at least for this moment. Uh, Al, I'm sure you never get tired of looking at these images. I, I tell you, and what we got to see while you, you were chatting with Tom, we saw the phenomenon they call Bailey's beads. It's just as the as the the moon completely covers the sun, you actually start right between the, the crevices of the mountain tops and the ranges there, you get this 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 dazzling effect. It's almost like a diamond ring. And they call that Bailey's beads. And it's literally just for a moment. We only saw it for about three or four seconds and then gone. And as people, uh, as this totality happens at different spots, people need to watch out for that because it's it's very, very brief but it's worth it. It was gorgeous to see right here in Mazatlan. Yeah, now we haven't seen folks on the ground and, and what it looks like from the ground, but we can presume it's it's nighttime for all intents and purposes during this period. Yes, yeah, exactly. It gets, it's it's like dusk almost to a certain point. Uh, and you, you, like I said, and Tom has seen it there. There's the ground shot right now. I mean, that's like sunset and uh, uh, and Tom, remember, we were talking about how weird our shadows looked, remember? Yeah, that's right. And, you know, there are these phases of the eclipse that are important, right? We have the penumbria, the penumbra, rather, which is really we're seeing the white outline, the white shadow, if you will. But then the umbria is when the darker inner shadow takes over completely. And so there are these various stages that all the scientific community loves to geek out about. But look at that right there on the corona around the edges of the sun and this is just an incredible opportunity to see that close up on, on a uh, super close up lens mazatlan obviously a uh, a big tourist destination and more so as many of these uh, towns and cities along the path of this eclipse have become uh, many a uh, year or two years out selling out uh, accommodations and a lot of people finding it hard to get there and to be uh to be witness to this. I was on a plane flying in from New York today and I could tell there were other uh, Eclipse watchers on board with me. You could see their <laughs> their folders of information, their hats and sunscreen and all that. Uh, but this is something to witness. I can't believe we're gonna be seeing the same thing here before long. We should mention here in uh, Indianapolis, we've had uh, pretty clear skies today. Most of the clouds have been in the form of airplane contrails. 75 degrees, I just checked my phone. I mean, how lucky are we? We've got fantastic weather here, blue skies. And I did just a minute ago, no, we're not in totality yet, but I put my glasses on because I just wanted to take a peek. Is it safe? Uh, we... I'm not, uh, and so we are seeing, okay. with uh, my glasses on, of course, a bite out of our sun here in Indiana. Of course, it'll get bigger and bigger as we get closer to totality. But what an incredible opportunity. And we should stress again, if you're at home, you gotta oh, wear yeah. these special glasses. Not typical sunglasses, that won't do it. That may not protect your eyes. It looks don't like a, kids. looks like a Pac-Man yeah, exactly. uh, like like character. A Pac <laughs> taking a bite but don't let the kids go out and look at the sun without the glasses. yeah absolutely it's great. and you know i've had a few people who have tried these on before the eclipse and they say i don't see anything it's black that's the idea <laughs> these are not these are not sunglasses per se these are uh specifically made for for viewing of an eclipse and uh safe wearing is there there is a period though in, in totality that you could safely look yes there is yeah. um they say that when it's completely blocked out you can take your glasses off uh, I may be a little reticent to do that. Yeah, I'm with you, pal. Because, you know, there was a case during the last, uh, the, during the last, uh, I started to say election, don't mean to say election, <laughs> during the last eclipse in which a woman suffered permanent eye damage because she didn't wear special sunglasses. So it is important that we try to do this, do this right. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.